now we're going to want to change the type of wave from a sine wave to square, sawtooth, or triangle. So we'll start by creating another function in our app.js and we'll call this one change ask one type. Again, we're going to get one argument. It's the event object. We're going to destructure off this time the ID off of e.target. And for right now, we'll just console.log that ID. And then we'll pass change ask one type down to ask one, but we'll pass it as change type. There, and we'll save that in here. In ask one, we'll grab change type out of our props. And we're gonna just, actually we'll just go ahead and create another param down here. We'll give it an H3 of wave and a button with an ID of sign and on click of this thing that we just got from up here, our change type prop function. And we'll also say, we'll give it a class name, but it's just gonna be an empty string with some back ticks for right now. And we will say inside of our button sign. And so we're gonna make four of these. And here and here, we want this to say triangle. Here and here, and if you don't know how to, how to select the next thing that matches what you've got highlighted, just highlight a word and on Mac it's command D. I don't know what it is on Windows, but um, here we'll want square and sawtooth. Cool and we'll go ahead and save those. And now you can see we've got four buttons. And if we open up our terminal, we should be getting sign, triangle, square, and sawtooth from right here where we're logging to the console, the ID that we're destructuring off of those targets we're clicking, the buttons. So now in here, instead of logging it to the console, what we're going to want to do is change the oscillator one dot type to ID. And notice we're not doing oscillator one dot type dot value because dot type is not an object with a dot value and some functions on it the way that frequency and detune are. Uh, the type of an oscillator is just a string. So we just say, dot type equals ID. And then for updating the state for our oscillator one settings, we'll say set oscillator one settings. And again, we'll pass an object and we will spread in all of the current oscillator one settings. And then we will uh, put a key of type and that's where we're going to pass the ID right there. And we'll actually put this on the line above. We'll switch those two. Now in here, we'll want to give our oscillator one settings an initial type of uh, value of oscillator one dot type. And then we can pass that value, this type value from our oscillator one settings. It's going to be already passed because it's going through in our settings, we can save that. And off of our settings, we can just go ahead and destructure the type, the frequency, and the detune from the settings. And then in here, we can delete settings dot and have it just be frequency. Here we can delete the settings dot and have it just be detune. And then now we're going to use this other variable 
we're destructuring off of the settings prop the type we're going to go in here and we're going to say dollar sign curly brackets check if type is equals 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 to sign and if it is then we're going to say ampersand ampersand to say include the class of active so this string will be included in this template literal uh, if type is equal to the string of sign so we're going to go ahead and add this logic inside of this class name and this class name and this class name except for this one is going to have to check for triangle this one for square and this one for sawtooth we can save that we'll go into our app and here we'll grab our uh, buttons that are inside of control. So inside control, we'll go to button. Actually, we don't want all of the buttons right now. We'll just let them keep their default styles. We'll just do the dot active so that you can see that we'll change the background to, I don't know, something kind of bright because the default styles of a button are still going to have black text so put put it there cool and now you can see close this up and now it's showing the sign button as blue because that's what our state currently has is the oscillator one settings dot type is triple equals to sign so this has the active class on it if we start up our oscillator, you can hear we got sign, triangle, square, and sawtooth. Now we can go to our app.scss and we can say button font size of 1.4 rem we'll say padding of 0.5 rem and margin of 0.5 rem just to make them a little bit bigger and we'll say transition all 0 0.3 seconds ease and then for the active class, we're gonna change its background color, some kind of dark purple, and we'll change the text color to white. I don't know what happened to our cursor being a pointer for buttons. There we go. Let's also give this a hover background, but we'll make it like a lighter version of this. Something like that, and there. Now we can hover change our oscillator one wave type.